Hello everybody, welcome to Lore Spire. Today we're going to be taking a look at the first boss battle in the game and it can be a bit of a doozy. Actually a little bit difficult if you do not know what tactics to use to, to bring this guy down. Okay, so uh, first off we have the Chaos Spawn here. Really strong, a lot of hit points. And uh, instinctively it's like, okay, we need to take him out before he just chews us up and spits us out. Uh, but you'll also notice that he has a bunch of uh, heretics here with him. And if we attack him first, like so. You can see we do a tiny bit of damage and uh, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Okay, if we continue attacking him. All right, you see that there? If we continue attacking him and we do enough damage to him, he actually goes into some type of counter-attacking rage. And even if you're attacking him from range, he can run to a ranged character and attack them. Also, you'll see here that, uh, that he healed for a large amount. Right there, 52 hit points. And he did that by sacrificing one of these guys. Okay, so that means we can't take down the big bad chaos spawn uh, at the beginning of the battle. So let's uh, let's rewind. All right. So uh, first off, you want to set up your party uh, in a manner that will allow you to eliminate these heretics before we attack the chaos spawn. And I like putting Abelard up here next to him because he's going to go after Abelard, and Abelard can tank it. Something like this is what I've found to be effective, and it's what we're going to go ahead and go with. So basically, you just want to go ahead and attack and take out these uh, heretic cutthroats. They will be your primary targets, and once you take them down, you can focus down the chaos spawn. He does uh, spit some acid, does a little bit of damage with that, but as long as you do not in do enough damage to him to enrage him and allow him to heal then he doesn't really hit too hard. Not so much so that you can't uh, deal with it. Nice little AOE from her. Get those two pretty low. Okay, now Argenta, if we move her right up to about here, should be able to take out this guy with a nice little uh, burst. And she actually did not, so we'll run and gun. See if we can get a little better angle on him and take him out this time for sure. There we go. He's down. And you're basically just going to continue in this fashion. Now, if we move out of this red area, he's going to get an attack of opportunity. But as long as we stay in it, the chaos spawn will not get an attack of opportunity. So we can actually go ahead and move here and we can take this guy out. Now, as long as we don't deal too much damage to him, we'll be okay. And Abelard's not going to deal too much with one hit. So we're going to get a little bit of damage started on him there. And we'll have her eliminate this guy. And there we go. We just have the Chaos Spawn left. Now we can Wail on him, and it's going to be an easy kill. Now with her, we're going to have her use that, and then we'll have her run and gun, use it again, and we got enough for our heroic act already, so that's going to deal some big time damage to him. So anyways, yeah, as you can see, as long as you take out his adds first, he's really not all that difficult. I really do like that they, they made the first, strike, uh, the first fight not really all that straight up though, like they gave it a little twist. You know, you got to uh, think a little bit and uh, figure out what's going on. And uh, yeah, that, that definitely makes it more interesting in my opinion. 
and makes me very hopeful uh, for the boss battles that we will see throughout the rest of the game. Hopefully there, there aren't too many that are just straight up deal as much damage as you can as fast as you can. Hopefully they've all got some kind of interesting twist that makes you think a little bit and have to figure them out. Anyways, I really hope that uh, that this uh, helped you out if you were having difficulty with the battle. And if not, if you're maybe not even playing, I hope that you just uh, can see this and see that the game is looking pretty damn good. And hopefully it gets you excited to play Rogue Trader because it's pretty freaking awesome so far. And we're just a couple of days into beta. Can't wait to see what the final product is and can't wait to see what the rest of beta has to offer gonna be awesome I'm sure I've never felt pain like this darkness consumes me Loss in our ranks. anyways this has been Chris with Lorespire be well my friends <laughs>